Scientific knowledge has provided this man with sufficient resources to have anything he could desire. Is it? The journey in the mayonnaise of a top scientist of the galaxies can be very different from that of ordinary people who believe that money can provide everything. There are problems in life that not even one billion dollars solve. UNB received a Nobel Prize. Yes, it did. I'm a witness. I went to the university to check it out at the end of last month. In the auditorium of the university here in Brasilia, I watched, you know what, a presentation by Randy Sheckman, one of the three 2013 Nobel Prize winners in medicine. Look at him there, telling the moment he received the call from Sweden and learned of the prize. So this is uh, my, my wife yelled out, this is it. At 1.20 in the morning on October 7th, uh, I was fast asleep. The phone rang. I stumbled out of bed, still half asleep, got to the phone, and uh, I think I was trembling at this point, but I'm pretty sure I knew what it was. And I was uh, greeted by a nice Swedish accent on the other side, Goran Hansen. And at that point, I think I said, oh my god. <laughs> Then he reassured me that, uh, after congratulating me, that it was uh, not a hoax. And since then, my life has not been the same. The other winners were Thomas Sudhoff and James Rothman, all of whom are affiliated with American universities. The three have unearthed the mysteries of transporting cargo between cells. Yes, the cells have found a way to transport loads of chemicals. Nobel laureates have discovered the precise mechanism by which molecules produced by a cell travel and find the target cell, and how the charge can couple with the membrane of the target cell to be discharged. Science has long known that chemical signals travel in the blood wrapped in a package called vesicle to resist transport. But there were mysteries that were deciphered by the Nobel winners. What genes are involved in this process? How does the vesicle know the destination of the load? And when the load arrives at the destination cell, how do you connect to the cell to discharge? Working with mutated fungi with genetic defects, Randy Sheckman identified genes related to vesicle traffic. James Rothman identified the proteins that bind, the one in the gallbladder and the target cell. Thomas Sudhoff stirred with nerve cells, unearthed mechanisms of release of neurotransmitters, also packed by vesicles. Together, Schechtman, Rothman, and Sudhoff deciphered the riddles of cell biochemistry. Disorders in this biochemistry produce neurological diseases, immune system diseases and diabetes. So the discovery is very important and has been contributing to the research of the cure of diseases that affect many people. To be aware of the importance of discovery, insulin is a good example. It is a type of hormone, a molecule produced by cells in the pancreas. In fact, it is a very complex molecule composed of 51 amino acids, a total of 731 atoms. Atoms of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen divided into two chains connected by disulfide bridges, sulfur bridges. Without insulin, your cells are unable to receive food. Involved in the gallbladder, the insulin molecule is discharged by the pancreas into the bloodstream. What is it for? Insulin is the key that opens the door in the cell membrane of all cells of the human body. Open the door to receive food, glucose that also circulates in the blood. This glucose cannot accumulate because it is toxic to the blood vessels. When it accumulates, it is type 2 diabetes, which is the type of 95% of cases. The mechanism of insulin is present in vertebrates, being something that evolved many millions of years ago. The researchers thought that abdominal fat was just a reserve of energy. However, studies have shown that this fat induces the production of hormones and other substances that produce chronic or lasting inflammation in the body. It is assumed that this has to do with the malfunction of insulin, which doctors call insulin resistance, which is still a mystery.
Science has not discovered the mechanism that causes insulin malfunction to cause diabetes. One more reason to attend the lecture was the admiration for Randy Sheckman for the fact that he has declared war on the registry of the main scientific journals, Science, Nature, Cell, and others. They charge authors dearly, do not pay reviewers and sell subscriptions for exorbitant prices. This has been protested even by Harvard University. Moreover, from time to time they accept fraudulent research publications. Randy Sheckman accepted to be editor of a magazine launched in late 2012 to fight the registry office, eLife. In eLife, access to publications is entirely free. It has a publication fee, which is not cheap, but the magazine only charges who can pay. The work of the reviewers is also published, full transparency for science. The magazine gained worldwide notoriety in 2015 with the publication of an article about the discovery of Homo naledi. Here on this channel, you will find three videos with everything about this fantastic discovery. Randy Sheckman is a humble genius, very cultured, he donated his share of the Nobel Prize, $400,000, to create a chair in basic cancer research at Berkeley University in honor of his mother Esther and her sister and Wendy Sheckman, who died of cancer. Money is not a problem for him. He is a genius sought after by billionaires like the co-founder of Google, Sergey Brin, one of the richest men in the world with a fortune of $78 billion. He donated more than $1 billion to research on Parkinson's disease, a disease his mother, Eugenia, and also the wife of Randy Sheckman, who was diagnosed with Parkinson's when she was 48 years old and has been slowly declining over two decades. She died in 2017. In the same year, Sergey Brin's philanthropic team created a research entity, aligning science across Parkinson, ASAP for short, and hired Randy Sheckman as scientific director, not only for his knowledge, but for his strong connection, for his personal drama with his wife. It's a terrible disease, says Sheckman. When my wife died, I thought, what can I do better with my life? I'm sitting here thinking about the life story of this scientist, even being a brilliant mind, nothing can do to save his sister and mother from cancer and the wife he cared for for 20 years, watching the worsening of his health all this time by Parkinson's disease, Dr. Michael S. Oaken, a neurologist at the University of Florida, said that Parkinson's was considered one of the most complex diseases in medicine. Some patients will never progress beyond the initial stages of the disease, while others will progress rapidly and will not be able to walk or even stand without a walker. Randy Sheckman will be 76 years old on December 30th. From the bottom of my heart, I wish him good health and success in his research for the cure of these diseases that can affect anyone and currently afflict millions of people.